Savage Kitchen, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. We're not making a particular cocktail today. We are going to be making something that we're gonna need for future cocktails. And that is a bacon infused bourbon. Yes, I said it, bacon infused bourbon. Um, this process is called fat washing which is a terrible name for something that's going to taste so damn delicious. So I don't know what kind of sadist came up with that term, but that's what they call it. Um, so what you are going to need is pick out a bourbon. I'm a big fan of the Noble Oak. Every time you buy a bottle, they plant a tree. Look, two trees. Uh, and then you're gonna need some bacon grease. Now, for those of you that are squeamish and don't like fat, <laughs> Just, just just, stop, skip to the next video, you're gonna hate this. The whole process of fat washing actually separates out the fat and just imparts the flavor into the alcohol. So uh, you're gonna go ahead and cook yourself up some bacon and save the grease. Also, in saving the grease, you can use that for all kinds of other cooking. So just save the bacon fat. So I actually went about the first part of this process several weeks ago now. Um, you can do this in a day, but you know, 2020, it's been a lifetime over the past three weeks. So the first part of your process is to take your bottle of bourbon, pour it into a wide mouth glass container, and add one to two ounces of bacon fat. This is super simple. You want your fat to be in liquid form. If you cooked earlier in the day and it's solidified a little bit, just pop it in the microwave and let it loosen up, and then pour that bacon fat in with your bourbon. You're gonna to wanna to shake the container up and let it sit on your counter for a couple of hours. Give it another shake every so often, and then after a couple of hours, pop it in your freezer. You wanna let this sit in your freezer until the fat has solidified, or like me, three weeks because you can't get your life together to film another Savage Kitchen. <laughs> for the second part of our process, you are going to take your container with frozen bacon fat, and we're gonna separate the two. Make sure to keep your bottle because you're gonna need a place for your bourbon. So. Jesus. Mm. I know I compulsively smell a bottle when I open it. They just smell so good. Okay, so for this part of the process, you are going to need a funnel. I've got this handy dandy, kind of fancy funnel that you're gonna pop right back in your bottle and a fine mesh strainer. Uh, this strainer is pretty fine. You don't want to use something that you would use for like a pasta, like a spaghetti strainer. You want to catch all of the solidified fat particles. You could also use cheesecloth if you have that, that would do a really good job. Okay, I feel like this is gonna be super messy. Urgh. There goes the fat. So now, I feel like we have two amazing things out of this. We have our bacon infused bourbon, but we also have bourbon infused bacon fat, which I can think of a lot of good things to do with that. All right, I think we need to try this, which requires a glass. Ooh, <laughs> this smells really good. <laughs> I mean, it still smells like bourbon, but there's definitely a hint of the smoke from the bacon. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> wow, that's really bacony. Okay, that probably because I left it in the freezer for three weeks. Uh, it might have a little bit more bacon flavor than usual, but I am not mad at this. Ooh. Oh my God. This is really good. <laughs> All right, well, stay tuned because next up we are going to make a bacon maple old fashioned. Oh, but I might need to just sit with this for a minute and have a moment. Cheers, friends.